Alright guys, so uh, we're going to talk about performance and the next upgrade that the Charger is going to see. Now before I jump into any kind of performance talk, I would like to talk about the last two uploads. One of them went crazy and I cannot believe it. And I want to thank all those uh, that are new to the channel uh, for hitting that subscribe button. Um, you know, this channel is now a year and a half old and um, yeah, just... This 5.7 is a blast, and you know, I'm, I'm slowly modding it. So, uh, thank you for hitting that subscribe button and, and supporting the channel. And I cannot believe the, uh, the amount of dislike and activity on my last upload of myself and Tunnel Chaser just jibber jabbering back and forth. I guess you guys did not find that uh, very funny. So, um, I find it funny, and you know. That, that's what it is but all right so let's move on to performance now the last I spoke about performance I was weighing the option between a cam and a supercharger and depending on which day you spoke to me I was leaning one way or another um, obviously the advantages of a supercharger is that bang for buck it's unbelievable okay you spend your you know eight to ten thousand dollars and you walk away with 150, 160 horsepower, and you're in another league, okay? Um, so after calling a, a bunch of shops and contacting a bunch of companies uh, for any kind of discounts or whatnot, I was able to get the price down a little bit, but not enough to really sway me to a point where I wanted to get, I wanted to do it, okay? Um, I just, I'm not sure if I'm willing to take on the the headache of a supercharger um, for the amount of money that I'm going to be spending uh, watching other people pro charge their car it seems as though it takes them weeks and months to get the tune proper to get everything the way that it should and the only company that I kind of trusted to do this is basically three hours away and I wasn't I was thinking about it and I'm like the price was was on point that they gave me all the upgrades and everything were, were awesome they they took a pro charger kit and put new new and uh, upgraded fuel injectors fuel pump I mean the lawn the list that they went down and to upgrade the pro charger in the end I just I can't do it you know uh, I just don't have it in me to spend that kind of money um, and that's that's really what it comes down to is money so I thought with the cam uh, the amount of money that I'm going to be spending for the amount of horsepower that I will be getting uh, is acceptable it's it's nice okay the the cam that I'm getting is part of a J green package and it's roughly two thousand dollars okay and it comes with basically everything that you need uh, to basically just bring it to a performance shop and they, they just install it. They have everything. The only thing that's missing is basically you need uh, oil to do an oil change and an oil filter and a couple other loose end things I, I hear. So for $2,000, you can roughly expect about 60 wheel horsepower, okay? Give or take a little bit. Now, if I went with comp cam, uh, the 270 or the 274, I would purchase the cam and then I would have to purchase all the little components that go along with it because you don't just purchase a cam and, and replace your, your, your stock one. Uh, a lot of other little components need to get upgraded uh, to compensate for that upgraded cam. Then on top of that, you need to tune your car for the upgraded cam. And so when you start adding it all up, uh, a tune around me, uh, a dyno tune is five to six hundred dollars. So part of the J Green package, the cam package, is he emails you a tune that goes along with the cam. Uh, so after installation, you load up your tune right onto the T2, very similar to what I did with my headers. Okay, right after I got my headers done, I loaded up my J Green tune. It's good to go. Uh, so, you know, that is a large large reason why I went with that. Uh, one of the biggest influencers has to be Nick Incredible Hemi. Nice. Um, 
his ram after you know we raced i i was it was an eye opener to be honest with you um now obviously he has more than just a cam but at the same time you just felt that power of of the the 57 with a, a a real cam in there So after that test drive and obviously after that romping of a race, um, it started making me think more and more of the cam, you know about the camp. And what happens is when you start thinking more and more about the cam, you, you start thinking about how the supercharger is not worth it. So I was all gung-ho about spending probably $8,000 on a supercharger and then I hung out with Nick incredible Hemi and listened to that, I mean, drove that Ram and started making me think. And that is, that's why I'm going with the cam, okay? So I hope it works out. I hope uh, the charger, uh, you know, after the cam does well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some upgraded tires. And with the cam, it should be approximately about 420, 410, 420 to the wheels, which would put it, what, in the 4, 460, 470 range in horsepower, and that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So that's really the plan. That is what I have cooking, um, and the parts should start flooding in for the cam uh, within the next couple of weeks, and then I'll get it installed, and uh, yeah, I'll give you guys some feedback on, on what what I think of, of the, the cam and uh, believe it or not, I am scheduled to go to a drag strip. All right, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> You're a wise guy. We are in a 2018 Ram. Ram. Tunnel Chaser's new uh, whip. Big horn. A big horn. And this is... Um, you can't reach the pedals right now. This is what? This the, is... The next level up Express. over the Express. Express so, right? <laughs> so, uh, so far, I, I have to say that this thing's a piece of shit. Um, I would agree. I would never get something like this. Uh, it's just, it rides like, like it's lowered or something. No, this is really nice. I'm gonna try and uh, try and give it a fair review, even though the temptation to really dog you is there. It's fun. It's fun. 